Sequences are a powerful tool in HubSpot to automate that outreach to a prospective customer. But what if you want to unenroll somebody and you need additional options? Let's explore how to do that in this video. Welcome to HubSpot Hacks, where we help you get more out of HubSpot. There are a couple different ways to unenroll a contact from a sequence in HubSpot, and it's either manually, it's going to be through your sequence settings, or on the contact record. So let's jump into HubSpot and see exactly how to do that, and we'll give you some tips along the way. So first of all, the first place you're going to look to unenroll someone from a sequence is actually how you set up the sequence itself. So if I click into the sequence demo and I click on edit, you'll see that in the settings we've got automation here on the back tab. And automatically we've got an email reply to any email in this sequence does unenroll the contact from a sequence. So that means that if someone gets this email and they reply, no, I'm not interested, that will still unenroll them. Now keep in mind that out of office replies sometimes are going to be caught, sometimes not. I'll put a link in the description below this video to the Knowledge Center article that explains it a little bit further. But keep in mind, again, sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. An email reply to any email in the sequence, if in fact you turn this on, that means if somebody from the same company unsubscribes or responds to an email, then everybody from that company would get unenrolled. So keep in mind, you don't want to badger a company. Let's say you have 10 contacts and someone says, hey, stop bothering me. Maybe you want to unenroll everybody. So that's what that would be toggling on and toggling off. And then the last one automatically in the settings here is going to be a meeting is booked. So any scheduling page that happens to exist on your HubSpot portal. So this might be if they booked a demo with somebody else on your team, your scheduling link, again, any scheduling link they use for your company would unenroll them from this sequence. Now, those are going to be the automatic things. Now, keep in mind, there's other things that kind of fit in the little the lines between this. And that would be if someone gets an email to, let's say, in my case, the Simple Strat email, and then I would reply from a different email because I have it funneled into a different inbox. That also would unenroll them from a sequence, but it might not show up in their activity record. Again, refer to that knowledge article that I'll include in the description for a few more details on that. Now, the next way to unenroll somebody is to actually go to their contact record and you can see that they are enrolled in a sequence up here in the top left and I can click on unenroll. So if I do that, it's going to ask me if I want to un unenroll the contacts. I click on unenroll contacts and there we go. Simple as that. You can also go to manually the settings area. So automation sequences and click on enrollments. Now keep in mind that your drop down here needs to say enrolled by, and this is most likely going to be at this time I'm looking at me, but I'm looking at unenrollment dates here. I've got Ali Schwanke enrolled in a sequence. I can click on this right by her uh, name here and then click on enroll. Same sort of thing. It's going to ask me, do you want to unenroll this person? Absolutely. Definitely. So the other thing to keep in mind as we talk about unenrollment is you can simply pause it. So let's say that you are headed out of office for a week and you don't want to get people emailing you back from your sequences. You can select this here and simply click pause. That's really helpful. Now, the last thing to think about is this cool new feature that happens to exist in sales pro and sales enterprise. Again, all of this is pro and enterprise. If you happen to have a legacy version way back when of sales starter, you might have sequences, but for the most part, all of these features today are in pro and enterprise. But if I go back to the sequences settings and I look at this new thing here called create workflow, this is what I'm super excited about. We've got two new contact activities that will allow you to unenroll somebody from a sequence. The first one's going to be a form submission. So that means that a contact submits a certain form on the website. Now think about this as, Somebody submitted a demo form. Okay, I can actually say if they submitted a form, my next workflow action can either be enroll them in a sequence or unenroll them. So keep in mind the places you might use this might be if someone happens to be getting outbound messages and then goes to your website and books a demo, they don't need to keep and they shouldn't keep getting emails from your company about booking a demo, right? So you can choose to unenroll them from that sequence and then maybe enroll them in a new sequence that says, hey, I saw you book a demo, but you haven't actually you know, watched our video yet. Again, be careful with those things. Too much information can actually be a bad thing. Now, that's one if they submit the form. If they submit a specific form, again, that would be where that demo form lives. And all of these are going to be anything that happens to live in your HubSpot portal. So keep in mind for this to work, these need to be HubSpot forms. They can't be forms on like a WordPress site or a web flow site, something like that. These are HubSpot forms. If they're embedded on those sites, that's fine too. Now, one more area, we just talked about the form submissions, page views. So let's say they actually saw a specific URL and then because of that, we unenroll them in a sequence. So again, there's a lot of applications for this, same sort of thing. They can see at least one URL 
or they saw a very specific URL. And then same sort of thing, if I enter that here, then I can set a next workflow action. So we're gonna go back one since I've got a form submission that would actually make sense. And we'll select that they booked a meeting with Alexis, set the next workflow action. I want to unenroll them from the sequence. And then if I turn this on, this workflow is automatically figured here and it's gonna show up in my settings. So if anybody else from my team comes in here and looks at what enrolls somebody from the sequence, it's already documented here as well as in that workflow area. What you used to have to do is go and kind of track all this stuff down. Now it's right here all on one screen. So that's it. You have manual unenrollment. You have that automatic unenrollment at the back tab of the settings. And then you also have this one step further where you can automatically unenroll with workflows. Same in that settings area. For more tips, tricks, and how-tos, hit that subscribe button and we will see you next week.